2019 Academy Award just happened uh, a couple weeks ago, a week ago. The Oscars, uh, the pointless competition to award uh, rich people. Um, but I enjoy kind of the outcome of the Oscars. I don't remember the last time I actually watched the Oscars. Don't really care about the actual presentation. It's usually not very entertaining. Uh, but it is interesting to see which movies end up, you know, getting best picture or what actors and actresses get, you know, best actor and actress uh, and all the other awards. It's, that part is always interesting. I'm always curious to see kind of what ends up winning. I don't necessarily agree with everything. I usually don't. Uh, it's actually pretty rare that I've, I've seen everything that's nominated. Um, Vice was nominated and hadn't seen it. Uh, what else did I not see? Um, as far as Best Picture Awards, that's the only one that I didn't see was Vice. Uh, directors, didn't see Cold War. Um, but most of the other stuff I saw, uh, Green Book won Best Picture, which I'm not surprised with. When I saw it, I mean, as far as movies that kind of tackle racism and kind of, uh, racial politics in this country... There's a lot of movies that came out that kind of have that theme, like Black Klansman, Blind Spotting. There's just like so many far superior, or sorry to bother you, far superior films uh, than Green Book. But for the director that made Dumb and Dumber to come and make, I mean, it was a solid film. Uh, the big negative about Green Book is how bullshit the story is. Uh, the racist didn't become not racist, he got fired. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's the real story, which I'm not a big fan of people that argue about movies not being historically real. Um, like the story for Green Book was a nice story. Now, the reality might be fake and, you know, rewriting the history for some people. I can understand that being, uh, especially in the time of Me Too, when, you know, a lot of people are getting called out on their bullshit. You don't really want to see the bullshit win awards, but the bullshit won awards. I think the movie, what the movie's trying to do, uh, is good. I thought it, I, th I was entertained by the movie. I thought it was well filmed. Um, but I mean, you got green book, black Panther. I don't even know why that's nominated. I think they just, after dark Knight, they, they have this need to like placate to comic book movie fans. It's like they can be good movies. Most of them aren't. Black, Black Panther was a good movie. It made a shitload of money. Was the best Marvel movie? I don't think so. Do I? Is there a Marvel movie that should be nominated for Best Picture in any shape or form? I don't think so. Um, but Black Panther was nominated. Black Klansman, I would have much rather seen uh, win. Bohemian Rhapsody was a dog shit movie. The only thing good about Bohemian Rhapsody, Rami Malek and the music. Everything else was dog shit. Uh, the favorite, overrated, didn't, don't really give a shit about wealthy people having problems. Uh, I mean, it was an interesting film. Roma, 100% Roma, by far the best piece of film art that came out. Uh, so I would have, it would have been amazing. Although Roma got best foreign film, so that kind of works. Uh, the director got best director, so that kind of works. Um, Alfonso Cuaron, which I'm happy about. Spike Lee could have won Best Director. I would have been fine with that, too. It's my favorite Spike Lee movie. Uh, Olivia Coleman got Best Actress from The Favorite, which is fine. I thought her performance was fine. I don't think she was the best actress in anything. I think there was far better performances uh, from other people in movies. Uh, but I also probably enjoyed those other movies more than I enjoyed The Favorite. Uh, just The Favorite was a little overrated from the guy that did like the lobster and like some kind of obscure weird movies this one he didn't write he just directed it but there's like gopro scenes in in the fucking thing that just take me out and the whole movie's just about like i just don't give a fuck like i'm supposed to feel sympathetic it's just about uh, just like the politics of what it was like for just like it's just about a bunch of horrible fucking people that like monarchies and shit, they should just all be dead because they don't give a fuck about people. It's just, but you know, we had this 
worship in this country for people with money. So oh, the the problems of a queen, which like we all can we all can uh, sympathize with how hard it is to be a queen. Oh, oh it's so tough. Uh, Rami Malek, best actor. I mean, he was the best part aside from the music in Bohemian Rhapsody. I thought the casting was great. I thought the makeup that they did for him to become uh, Freddie Mercury was great. Uh, I didn't see Christian Bale and Vice. Don't really give a fuck about another guy that's, you know, it's like, I just don't care. Politics is so depressing. It's like, I don't want to see a movie based on somebody that fucked our country um, and got rich doing it. Uh, Star is Born. Didn't like the movie. Again, the song was probably that one Lady Gaga song is probably the best part of the movie, even though it doesn't really make sense. It's like he whis- she she has one moment in a parking lot where she tells him a song. Next thing you know, he's got the production all set to go in his next show. They don't need to rehearse. It's like it's basically what everybody thinks artists do. They just kind of wake up and they do their thing. It's like there's a lot of work that goes into doing their thing. Um, but in the movie, it's just like, oh, we could just on the fly produce a song that you came up with in a parking lot. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Regina King got for if Beale Street could talk. If Beale Street could talk, tons of that. Sh- that movie should have gotten so many awards, so many awards. Um, but just only got the supporting actress, supporting actor, uh, Marshall Ali from Green Book, which is fine. You know, I don't know. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott should sue uh, Bradley Cooper for stealing his, for doing an impersonation of him in front of him um, and being nominated. Uh, So Shallow did win Best Original Song, which the song's not really that good. It just got that one crazy thing where Gaga just, you know, she does her like operatic kind of doing the different scales or whatever that's great but the song's pretty basic it's pretty it's just shalalalalos shalalalalos it's the depth of song of the year but whatever um black panther got best original score okay uh another movie that should have gotten a bunch of awards that got a technical award was uh first man Got best visual effects. I thought that was a, a great, great movie, um, but just died. Nobody's talking about it. Um, and the best documentary got a uh, free solo. Another great thing. And then uh, best animated feature, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. So there's some good that came out of the Academy Awards. Uh, but uh, overall, I just don't give a shit. It's interesting to see who wins. Um, you know, it's kind of like. I mean, it's it's kind of like the intrigue of sports. You know, you have your movies that you're pulling for, your actors and performances and things that you're pulling for, and then in the end, most of them don't even get nominated, and you're kind of like left with whatever bullshit the Academy comes up with. But, uh, you know, I, sh- I would have done a, a preview episode, but totally forgot the Oscars were coming up, um, so I did the recap instead uh hopefully you know you enjoyed some of those movies i would definitely check out i mean i've talked about them on episodes of this show roma um if beale street could talk black klansman uh actually those are probably ray taylor's show black klansman uh blind spotting my favorite movie of last year which i did a whole top 20 movies if you want to check out what my favorite movies of last year were Um, But that's it for this episode. New episodes come out daily. Subscribe on IGTV and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Inspired disorder.com for all of my artwork and podcasts. At Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out.